Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so I have got two Happy Mails here. As you can see, I've already opened them. I had problems filming the first video when I did the unboxing, so uh, here it is already open. Uh, just got a quick video because I've got to um, get lunch after this, so... <laughs> um, let's have a quick look first. But this one is from Josephine Smith from... Uh, Junk Journal Star Undergroup, and this one is from Susan, all the way from America. So, and the great thing about these two packages is that I have only recently met these guys um, through the Junk Journal World and YouTube, and so it's really just so lovely when you, um, I don't know, you chat back and forth, and you send them things, uh, and... Uh, like Susan, she bought that Little Women journal, and oh my goodness, like four people were after that journal, um, but she got in first, so I'm so glad she, she got it, and that she said she's already using it, so that's so awesome. Um, and Josephine, she bought one of my mystery packs, well, I think she bought a couple actually, and that's how I met her way back, <laughs> well not way back, but that was how I originally met her, and now she'll kind of get like a, a physical package for them, it's just kinda, it just kind of makes the connection more uh, kind of real or tangible or something, like it's so fun chatting, but now it's like I have a piece of them that I can see and hold and, and commemorate in my journal, um, yeah, so it, I'm going to try not to go too long. I've got to um, get lunch after this. So here we go. Uh, let's just go through everything. Oh, and because it is a happy mail, um, and but they do have like butterflies, I'll just show you each thing. Oh, it's gorgeous. Um, I will enter them into the blue butterfly challenge uh, because, yeah, if it's got a blue butterfly or a blue flower or a blue bird, you'll get like your entries for each of those things. How gorgeous is this? So pretty. Um, and that will make a great pocket, a lace pocket. Love your handmade things too. So yeah, um, even though it's a happy mail, if anything comes in for happy mail during the month of April, uh, and it includes one of those things, a blue butterfly, a blue... Um, <laughs> Um, blue, what's it called? Flower, bluebird. Then I will include it in the challenge. So for fun. All right, here we go. Sorry, I got a rush. <laughs> Look at these cards, and I love your notes too. ATCs. I've seen these on Facebook in the groups, but in the junk journal groups. But I've never made one myself. Um, maybe I'll make one eventually. Um, I love this one too. But what you said. Um, always remember these two words and your art and words will continue to inspire. Just be. I love that because um, I, the, some of my words for um, this, what is it? This time, season, my life. Just be and just do you are two things that I keep in mind. This is a cool magnet thingy. How cool is that? I love your handmade goodies. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. How on earth did you do that? That is amazing. <laughs> I'm going to take inspiration from that cute tag. And are you from Florida? I know I've sent you stuff, but I can't remember if that's where you're from. I love you. have got the sticky notes and the flowers and how they mean something to you. And that is so beautiful. Look at that. So gorgeous. So, so pretty. Um, and I'm kind of saving some stuff to last because I love how you... I love this surprise. That was so fun too. And look at these. These are so precious in here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> they, they pressed flowers. They are so special. I'm going to um, put those in my journal somehow, my blue butterfly journal somehow. Uh, this note, thought your nephew and, and or niece might have fun with these. Well, my nephew loves dogs so much, so that will be for my nephew. And I'm guessing that one can be for my niece. Uh, and I think that is so sweet of you to... Um, thank you for your card, by the way. <laughs> um, that is so sweet of you to think of them. And if you're watching uh, Gibby and Tilda, <laughs> 
you've got this will be coming your way either I can post it or I will just bring it down when I come down next and we can make more journals you can put that in your journal and I love that there's a piece of Susan in your journals that's so fun and I love your coffee dyed pieces uh, that will go in my blue butterfly journal too and we've got a gorgeous oh sorry for shaking you gorgeous heart charm how pretty is that Thank you so much, Susan. Ah, oh, what a surprise. Both of you ladies, you did not let me know you were sending these. <laughs> and I um, got such a, it was such a lovely surprise. And I love your little note here, Josephine. Um, you love, know how much I love blue. And yes, thank you so much. I all do love, love blue. And I love this card you included. My little Keanu. So that will go in my journal. I love these playing cards. Love the roses. That will go into some botanical journals. I love these cute little um, Christmas cards, playing cards. That is so, so fun. Um, botanical flower, a leaf that will go into a botanical journal. We've got some blue washi tape, blue buttons, blue ribbon, and we've got some blue fabric here that will make great pockets, and some blue cards, <laughs> little sticky notes. Um, and I love these blue envelopes. I know it's so simple, but yeah, I'm working on my envelope journal finally, or envelope little thing, um, ephemera envelope folder. <laughs> and I was having a little experiment, and I think it's going to turn out pretty cool. I've been holding off on it because I just need to work on, like, I want to make it look how I'm envisioning it, and it's a bit of a big project. Bling! That's going to be great for embellishments. Um, diamond die cut? No. Uh, chipboard piece, I think that's called. This is such cool texture. It's like carpet. These textured papers. Especially this one. This is like velvet or something. Um, so, yeah. I will have to include some of your blue envelopes in that. Well, actually, no. I'll probably go into my blue journal, blue j journal to be honest. <laughs> Um, anything blue and then we've got some pages here thank you so much um, you can definitely use these in my blue butterfly journal and uh, isn't that color amazing so pages pages and we've got um, large blue card which I think will be great for my journal because it's quite large size the cover I've already got and I need really, really large pages to go in it. A4 doesn't cut it, it's too small. So I'll definitely be using some larger pieces like that. And the great thing is it's blue. And this is my favourite piece that you have included here with these eyelet fabric. But the thing is, I've never seen it before with the colours or the pattern on it. And it's just so delicate. Like the eyelet fabric I have is quite thick. But this one is so delicate, so that is going to go somewhere in my um, Blue Butterfly journal too. So you both get entries uh, for the blue flowers and the blue butterflies over here into the Blue Butterfly Challenge. Just automatically you're entered. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. Sorry, it was a huge rush. Got to get lunch. So <laughs> um, I will see you guys in the next video oh and if you are interested in the blue butterfly challenge i'll link it below if you'd like to enter to be in the chance in the chance up for grabs for a chance to win one of my journals and um yeah thank you so much ladies love what you have sent and um, i'll have fun creating with it all as well so thanks guys for watching and i'll see you later bye